We've come halfway around the world to Israel, and we're here at no less a location than just outside Megiddo. The plains of Megiddo are said to be the site of the final battle of the world. So right now we're with Gilad. He's in sales with IWI, Israeli Weapon Industries. And these are the guys that have for many years been making the Uzi submachine gun. I'm holding in my hand an Uzi SMG 9x19 or 9mm Luger as we say on American Rifleman. And this is one of the iconic submachine guns of all time. Okay, so here in your hand you're holding the SMG Uzi 9x19 like you mentioned before. It's an open bolt machine gun. It was carried by the IDF from the early 50s until today the Uzi has developed to the Uzi Pro, closed bolt, 9x19. Now this gun is obviously much more modern, has a polymer lower, uh, as you say, closed bolt. A lot of things have been done in this design I see to, you know, obviously make it compatible with the suppressor. So you've got this, this light mount that, that can accommodate the suppressor. What else can you tell us about it in terms of the controls? What makes this gun uh, modern in terms of compared to the older Uzis? First of all, on this side, you will see that the magazine has been changed, the magazine release. And here it changed to similar like a pistol. Okay. Then you have your safety, which is the same safety. Right. Different ergonomics. You have your uh, assault grip, which is foldable. You have your cheek rest, five positions, and also foldable buttstock. My understanding is that IWI US has made available now the Uzi Pro as a, uh, as a pistol uh, available for commercial sale in semi-automatic closed mold exactly. form, of course. The way the American market embraced IWI as a company and the, its products showed that uh, there was a kind of eagerness to us to show up, meaning they come from a company which makes guns for the IDF, which makes guns that see battle, not just here, all over. The Galil, it's what you're holding right now in your hand, is an SAR, which is short assault rifle. Of course, it came in different versions of lengths. Sure. But it was still in 556 by 45 and in use long time back. Right. Right after the Uzi. The IDF decided to take it as their main assault rifle. Now, this is no longer in service. Uh, yes, but correct. you guys, again, uh, as with the Uzi, you feel like that the mechanism of the Galil was so so good and so uh, reliable, proven that uh, you felt like it was updating. So tell us a little bit about the the Galil Ace, which is the new version from IWI. So this, the next step of evolution for the Galil is the Galil Ace family, which comes in three different calibers. You have 556 by 45, 762 by 39, and 762 by 51. Of course, they'll fire the 223 or the 308, vice versa. For the Ace, the first, design, first change was the lower. We changed the lower to a polymer frame. Okay. Just to lighten the weight. The cocking handle, the charging handle, switched to the left side. Okay. Even better. Even better, yeah. exactly. Added thick rails for accessory sights. The safety was changed also in both sides. Okay, now Gilad, I know that this particular uh, Galil Ace pistol takes the uh, traditional AK type hook and rock magazines with the sort of the familiar uh, banana profile there. Exactly. But tell us about what you guys have decided to do, again, for IWI US, for US customers with regard to the different magazines that will be available in the different calibers. Okay, for the 762 by 39, the Magpul magazine, AK magazine Magpul, okay. will be available for the 308 will be the Magpul SR25 version okay. magazines. And for the 223, it will be a NATO standard magazine. NATO magazines. standard, yeah. okay, great. So again, that's pretty useful for guys that love this design, but want to have access to reliable, uh, consistent dimension magazines that will fit and run in the gun. All AK type magazines yep. will fit in this weapon. Okay, great, all right. Well, hey, thanks very much for letting us look at the uh, Galil Ace line of products. Welcome. Want to know what's happening at American Rifleman? Follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. We'll be right back. I think uh, one of the reasons that we have to have the best products 
for our uh, our uh, clients is because we live in Israel. We don't have any other option. We are all surrounded by enemies. That means that you know the needs of the the soldier. You are part of the you are part of the soldier. You are part of the IDF, and you feel the the needs of the soldiers. Okay. More than that, we have uh, employees that are uh, responsible on the connection with the IDF, with the police force and other units in Israel. So uh, we get feedback almost continuously and we are trying to improve them day to day. All right, Gilad, we have on the table here now a couple of pretty interesting uh, light machine guns that the IDF uses. Uh, this is the Negev and we've got the Negev 7 and the Negev 5. Let's start with the Negev 556. Belt fed or magazine fed. Okay. You can use also a drum, a 200 round drum or a 150 round drum. The magazines that you can use in this weapon is a NATO standard magazine. So meaning in combat, if you're out of ammo, take from your friend. Right. Insert from beneath, which is an advantage. Doesn't interfere with the weapon usage or to hold the weapon in any position. After I fire, I want to switch a barrel. With one hand, I switch the barrel. I don't need to use both hands. One pin. Wow. Release, take the new barrel, insert, and continue firing. One other feature, one important feature, fires from semi-auto also. Okay. So you have or semi or full auto. Okay. It's really easy to fire the weapon from shoulder. And of course, we have the gas regulator like in any machine gun. It's foldable like I've shown you before. Still can fire the weapon while the buttstock is folded or while the weapon is totally folded. That's very compact. So it's a really compact version. One other really important feature is the pick rail right here. I'll dismount the sight. Unlike other machine guns, the Negev has a rail built on the body and not on the cover. Of course, the cover is shorter, giving us low profile while changing uh, ammunition. And we have on the cover, a dust cover. Dust cover, yeah. The weapon is sealed from all sides, which is a big advantage in our climate. The features are the same, more or less the same features and advantages of the 5.56. It's a scale up okay. for the caliber. Now again, we're, we're at 17 pounds here, which for an LMG is a Pretty, nice weight to be yeah. at, but even with that weight, uh, this being a 308, it's uh, a bit more, a bit more recoil energy. So, of course. What, what was done to accommodate that and make this gun even more fire? So to accommodate it, we have a buffer, and then our recoil is really uh, is lower. Okay, that's a lot of capability in a package that one guy can can hump a long exactly. way. Exactly. Remember what we have today. Now to go around with this with a with a higher caliber, you'll feel a lot safer on your platoon. Sure. Today we employ about 600 workers and we are still growing. We have a staff here of engineers and technicians which are working on next guns, looking at the next coming years and you can see that about every year or second year we come up with new guns which are variants or which are different designs but still on, on the current type of guns. But we are also looking and are working on guns which will appear in the next 10 years and even more, that uh, probably will start to look different, act different, and uh, have different things in them. We are looking at, at not at imitating other big guys, but to be the one that others will imitate. IWI is actually one of the most advanced firearms manufacturing facilities in the world. And frankly, with the threats to their national security, they have to be.